So I was scrolling through BuzzFeed as I do most mornings. I mean, I am a text-to-speech BuzzFeed article, right? That's what this channel is, yeah. And I came across this article that says 17 pregnant people's cravings I'm gonna need an explanation for. So I thought, let's go through this together and maybe we'll find some new ideas of what I can try for the next weird food combination video that I probably don't want to do, but will for the views anyways, okay? <laughs> let's get into it. <laughs> so next up, we've got a pickle McMuffin. I feel like the idea behind pickles for pregnant people is that they just like the bit of a crunch and it's really like salty and really like a strong, strong flavor, which I think is what most pregnant people want. They want really, really strong flavors and sometimes two strong flavors together. I just can't imagine the person behind the counter when you're like, hey, can I please get a McMuffin? But can you add some pickles to it, please? I'm pregnant. Don't judge me because you can't judge a pregnant person, all right? Let them eat what they want. A little sandwich with beetroot between two slices of cheese. I low-key love it. I feel like the beetroot would be like a nice, sweet twist that mixes really well with the harsh cheese flavor. Look at me, I'm like a connoisseur. Is that the right way to be explaining it? A connoisseur, like I know what I'm talking about. I'm practically a chef. I crave dirt, I'd smell my dirt soil. It made my mouth water. But did you eat the dirt though? That's the question I wanna know. As a pregnant woman, you have these cravings like dish soap and dirt. Do you eat it? What do you do? You're like, why am I kind of craving this kind of weird ass food all of a sudden? I am literally lost for words. I am broken right now. I'm confused as hell. I thought I was gonna find some new tasty treats to try. But we've, I'm just walking away from this going, what the f I ain't ever having kids, god damn. I'm not okay. Day three quarantine. Okay, this is gross. I can't imagine why. I can't imagine where. This person straight up tried to make pickle juice popsicles. What? Pickle juice popsicles? There's so many nice things you could have. Lemonade, raspberry. You could have ice cream and you're choosing to have pickle juice popsicles. You're like, I want something nice and cold, but I also love my pickle juice. <laughs> I apologize. I'm quite literally in shock right now. I'm not gonna lie. This is another one that kind of looks like it might be tasty. Potato chips in their s'mores instead of crackers. I don't know. I feel like they might be onto something. Potato chips with that nice salty hint put with the sweet. It might complement each other. Somebody give this person the Nobel Prize in saying that. The Graham crackers. The Graham crackers. Are they Graham cra crackers or Graham crackers? Give me the answer. Yeah, you. See, this one in particular isn't like a mix of foods all together, but it's kind of like the pairing all at once because you're probably going to eat it bite here, bite there, bite there. So first we've got chili cheese fries. Delicious. And then we've got some sriracha sauce, hot sauce on top of it, paired with cinnamon rolls and a banana. Hey, the banana's the entree, chili cheese fries are the main, and the cinnamon rolls are the beautiful, beautiful dessert. I don't know, the fact that they're all together in this one picture, it's just not a good mix, you know? I respect it. I don't understand it, but I some somehow get it. I don't understand it, but I get it. I don't, I don't know. This video's got me confused. These foods are confusing. So first glance, I'm like, okay, it's a Cheeto with something milky. That's fine. We can get past this together. Me and you, you and I, we, we can get through this. But then I find out it's not just a Cheeto. It's a cheddar jalapeno Cheeto. And it ain't just a milkshake. It's a peach milkshake. Ugh, uh, I feel like I want to throw up. I'm sorry. I'm not judging you pregnant women out there. I, 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 I know that you do the best to provide for your child. Like, you're going to give birth to it. And you deserve this right to eat whatever you want. But I'm sorry right now. You're making it a little bit difficult. <sighs> Everything's okay, Tanner. Everything's okay. See, when I saw this one, I was like, man... This kind of looks delicious. I'm not going to lie. Spaghetti with creamed spinach. Somebody touch my spaghetti! Isn't that what some of the spaghettis are anyways? I think this looks damn delicious and I'm not going to lie. My mouth is watering a little bit. I'm a little bit hungry. Is it lunchtime yet? I just leave the video to go get food. I don't know. This one looks kind of tasty. I would definitely eat this not pregnant. So are we both looking at the same thing? Because I'm uh, this is this is just not it. Apparently this is spaghetti with the maple syrup, candy, marshmallows, etc. We got M&Ms. We got chocolate fudge. We got chocolate syrup with spaghetti. Not candy spaghetti, actual f***ing spaghetti. I don't even know if I ever want to have kids now. This is disgusting. Ugh. This woman said she didn't even know she was pregnant and she made this. And then two days later, tested positive. I'm like, you don't look at that plate and go, mm, I think there's something wrong here. Either in here or something's, something's in here. You know what I'm saying? Canned cheese on powdered donuts. They look damn tasty. With cheese on it? I don't know. I don't think we're there yet. Not sure about that one. You should know from me. But uh, the canned cheese and the donuts separately, delicious. We've got somebody who made avocado toast, which 
I enjoy. I enjoy it with a little bit of Vegemite, a little bit of avocado. Damn, tasty. But this person slathered some Biscoff spread on top. Now, if you haven't had Biscoff, it tastes exactly like your favorite cookie, but in a spread. I promise you, I've got it in my cupboard. And every time I feel a little bit cheeky, I grab a spoon and I dig in. Oh my God. Biscoff spread is delicious. I need it right now. But I can promise you right now that I don't think avocado is a good mix for it. Now, I'm pretty sure people put avocados in smoothies and like in ice cream and stuff like that. So I can kind of see how it wouldn't be too overpowering, but it just don't look right. Avocado and Biscoff spread. There's a time and a place. Like me personally, I usually have peanut butter and bananas. Is that weird to people? I don't know. Like maybe this person thought it was normal. Maybe I'm just weird. Okay, I mean, I, we, we all know I'm definitely weird, but uh, I can't. Why would you disrespect food like this? Pulled pork on vanilla ice cream. You heard correctly. Pulled motherfucking pork on... Uh, this is where I end the video early because I feel sick. Actual nausea. I don't know how I'm ever going to eat again. I swear to God. When I first looked at this, I genuinely thought it was a mix of peanut butter and Vegemite because that's kind of the color that Vegemite looks like when you put it on toast. But then I find out that they just wanted their toast so burnt to a crisp that it's practically charcoal. I kind of like a little bit of burnt toast and I also like a lot of Vegemite. Sue me. I, I know that most of my audience is American, so they've probably never tried Vegemite. It's damn delicious, okay? Tom Hanks was doing it right. Right. I feel like if you're gonna have toast that is that burnt, you gotta have a really, really thick bit of peanut butter on top. That is just so little peanut butter, it's making me uncomfortable. I know that this is nothing crazy. This is nothing like out there where you're like, holy shit. But I'm literally less concerned about the charcoal than I am the fact that there isn't enough peanut butter. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just disrespectful to the thing that I love most, and that is food. Pizza dipped in icing. What, what kind of icing? Is it like, you know, just hot sauce or something? Is that, can we call sauce icing now? I just put barbecue sauce on there. Green barbecue sauce, because I need to think of something other than what it actually is, because I'm picturing a nice sugary icing on top of a nice margarita pizza, and it's not hitting good. This hit differently. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to enjoy food again. Okay, so this didn't actually happen, but this pregnant woman said that she was craving dish soap on a cheeseburger. She wanted to put actual dish soap. I, I can't even say it. dish soap. She wanted to put the damn dish soap. God damn. She goes, I didn't do it, but oh man, it sounded amazing to you and you only, darling. I promise you. I promise you. Uh, a cream filled donut. We need to lay the foundations here. One more time. A cream filled donut stuffed with white cheddar popcorn me trying to not throw up. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? I can't. I legit can't. I just don't get some of these. Like I do, but I don't. Because I know sweet works with savory. It's the same old debate with the pineapple on pizza, which is delicious, by the way. Don't click off just because I said that, please, please. But this person wanted their chicken nuggets dipped in their McFlurry, their Oreo McFlurry. Like I get dipping the chips, but I feel like actual chicken with ice cream, I just can't get around that. There's something stopping me, you know? Like I just, I can't, we ain't it not happening. Yes, eight likes, that's because this is not okay. Tory. This is not okay. I think this person might be onto something. Mix their mashed potatoes with salsa. That sounds damn delicious if you ask me, dude. I'm not not down. I'm like trying weird food combinations that no one would like just because I want to eat mashed potatoes. <laughs> sounds about right. Twinkies in ranch dressing. I, I'm lost for words at this point. I don't know if there's just like, it's finally hitting me that these people are bad crazy and I'm judging pregnant women and I'm sorry. I know you deserve this. You are giving giving birth to a child. You should be very proud of yourself. You should pat yourself on the back, but goddamn, what is wrong with you? I can't wait to the flash forward 10 years of me having kids and I'm eating some weird ass shit. And somebody's going, ah, remember that one time 10 years ago when you said that pregnant women are crazy? I'll be like, I'll be a crazy pregnant woman and I'll fight you. And you don't want to fight a pregnant woman. Pickles with grape jelly. Ugh, I like try to picture the flavor in my own mouth and I'm just like, I don't know about this. I'm not sure how it makes me feel. So you like cut out the middle of the pickle, chuck some jelly in there and call it a God damn day. Nutella on a burrito? Is the burrito like a dessert burrito of some sort? Because you can't tell me that you've actually put one of the tastiest spreads, Nutella, on a nice savory Mexican burrito. I can't, I can't. This is just too sad. Dog biscuits. Somebody ate dog biscuits when they were pregnant. I'm never having a child. <laughs> this is like the one thing that's turned me off. Having a kid is that it's gonna ruin my relationship with food. I'm like, dog biscuits, not up, 
up. Died alone. Died alone. Well, to finish it off, all those pregnant women out there, thank you for doing what you do, giving birth to babies. Commend yourself, but stop being weird with your food choices. If you want to check out my weird food combination videos, I will leave a link in the description. Be sure to check it out. I uh, I want to find some new combinations. I want to try something new, you know? So if you have some weird combinations that you want me to try, chuck them in the comments. Hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time. You know what to do. <gasps> Yate.